everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a great week. I hope that you're getting lots of stuff done. I have been, I was just thinking, <clears throat> I needed to probably go ahead and tell you guys I have been, I'm a little, I guess it's stressed out. I was going to say freaked out, but it's stressed out. So you might be able to tell today in my video. Anyway. Because, so if I seem a little freaked out, I am. <laughs> I have so much to do. And I... I'm going to Will's school party today at 1, so I wanted to go ahead and get this done early, and um, I have several good things to show you, but one thing I wanted to say is um, I did get, I've gotten several Christmas cards and some Christmas packages, and I wanted to thank you all so much, and I just felt like I didn't have time to show every single thing. My friend Amy sent me a big box of stuff. Um, Cindy sent me some ornaments. Just all kinds of stuff. And then I was just, I just went downstairs to get this. One of my subscribers sent me some of her homemade biscotti that she makes. And I believe she sells it. So what I'm going to do is um, look on my email and see if I can find out. Um, John threw the bag, the big bag. It was two of these. He threw the big bag away. And he was cleaning out his chip basket and snack basket. And um, so I had this left. And I don't have the name of it. But I'm going to put it down below because that was so good so good and then um so and then another thing I got this week that is so pretty and I was thinking a lot of you might like this as a I'm gonna try to give you some gift ideas today too but this is from that same company that sent me the shark necklace uh, floor Amazona and they're very unique it says enjoy your little piece of paradise I can't wait to see how you style your new bracelet look how pretty this is and I love that it's like, I love bracelets that are like this in cuff form. And here's their nice um, embossing on the back. And I love the magnet stuff. So here, I'll put it right over my sleeve. But isn't that pretty with the seahorse? You know, I love seahorses and mermaids, anything beachy, of course. And a lot of their things are beachy. So thank you to them for sending that to me. And I think that is gonna be just something awesome to wear in the summertime. And, um, and the magnet is, is strong, <laughs> just go ahead and off. <laughs> but anyway, so thank you, look how pretty that is. And I'll put their website down below. Boy, that magnet is strong. Really nice graphics with their company. Okay, and then, um, let's see. I was going to, I don't have anything on my lips right now because I wanted to show you that lip combination that I got this week. I actually vlogged just a little bit every day this week. I think I did more on Monday and Tuesday, and then I did just a little snippet on Wednesday and Thursday. And um, so I have already edited that, and I will post it this weekend. So I went to the long comb counter, and I had really a good time with um, the makeup artist there. And she was saying that this is her favorite nude lip. So, of course, I had her... Um, show it to me and I love it and it is the Charm C-H-A-R-M-E liner so we're going to put that on and that's a really natural good pink liner it's kind of like just your lips like that and then the lipstick I could not believe I didn't have it it's 200 B in the Rouge in Love and I like these these are kind of like they're long-lasting lipsticks and they're I would say they're a silky matte they're not like dry matte but they're kind of like a silky matte and um, this is just like a really good nude It smells good too. It has that good, kind of like an old-fashioned lipstick smell. And then this really makes it. This is the Gloss in Love, and the name of this is Mocha Queen. I love that name. It's number 202. So it pops out, and it has a real nice, you know, that wand that's kind of, has a little cutout for your lips. And that just brings it all together. And it's just, isn't it a, a beautiful, just nude lip look? Let me come in closer. Oh, that's as close as I can come. So, um, 
and the liner everything goes together and it just comes together and makes one color and it doesn't wear off ugly and if you didn't want to apply the lip liner again that day that's fine because enough of it stays you can just take the lipstick and the lip gloss with you now i did try it with like the let me blot just a little bit um yeah let's see what i like to do sometimes so i don't have too much on that edge is i'll do my lips kind of down like that and then just lay that on there and get that just what's on the edges and then make that all like a cream i might have taken too much off but i'll leave it there and um what was i going to say anyway it wears off nicely and um you could just almost take just the gloss with you that is just such a pretty color i hope you can see that i feel better now that i put that on and i tried to do a little bit lighter of an eye today because and you can see my eyes are shaking from just sneezing um i'm going to the school today so i hated to just i don't know i want to do something a little different and then i felt like i might if i did a little bit lighter look it might be better for the school christmas party so what I use today is one of my favorites, and I'm kind of just going to blend my favorites into this, my weekly favorites that I've been doing, and, um, oh, I forgot to show you one thing, but anyway, so what I have on my eyes today is just the regular Naked Basics palette, and what I do is I start off with um, the lightest color and do my crease, and then I do a little bit more um, on the outer and through the crease with this darker color and then I did my liner in all shadow today so that's what I used that little Wayne Goss brush that I showed you last week and then did the frosty color on the inner corner and um, a little bit of this underneath my eyes which I haven't been doing anything underneath and then that for highlight between these two sometimes I do a little bit of yellow sometimes I do a little bit of that cream color so I actually use I think every color in this when I do my eyes and I was thinking this would be an awesome gift too i'm not i can't remember how much these palettes are i think they're less than 30 or right around 30 dollars and i think anyone would love this a, from a teenager to a older lady i think and i've given many of these away as gifts and then um another one of my favorites this week has been this and this is i mean everybody has tried this i like the dream Lumi in the clicky pen but I decided to give this a try, and it's in the same, it's in Brightener Illuminator. And even the clicky pen one I use is in Radiant. And that's what I like to do, like up underneath my eyes. Just, I don't do like a whole thing that you see people do with like a whole triangle. But what I do is just put it in that uh, deepest area right there and try to brighten that up some. And then I do take a little bit and try to put it, you know, right here, just in that little, you know, the T-zone. And I've really liked this. So that's been one of my favorites this week. And then to go along with another favorite, my friend Liz, Elizabeth Liz told me about this and you can see how much I've been liking it. And it looks really bad because, you know, the oil on my hands probably is making this come off and I, I leave it in the shower. But it is the Jergens Shea Beauty Oil. Beautifies for six times more radiance, sheen and hydration with shea butter and argan oil. Body oil luminizer. And I have it on today. I just got out of the shower this morning. I really like it. I wish the pump were a little, um, it, I have to put like five pumps in my hand at one time just to do like the bottom of my leg. It just a little teeny bit comes out at a time. So if I had to improve it, um, it would be more would come out at a time, but then you might like that. I don't know. And I use it all over. What I do is get out of the shower, you know, wring my hair out, get out of the shower, put my hair up in a towel, and then get back in the shower so that a little bit of the water has run off of me. And then I put this on and I've really, really enjoyed it a lot. Okay, then let me go back to lipstick and back to the Lancome counter. I did um, go back on, was it day before yesterday, I believe, because she, you'll see in my vlog that she tried on several different foundations that day and I ended up buying one that she put on me. It was the Tint Miracle and I can't remember the color, but she gave me a sample and then I bought the full bottle. Well, I ended up using the sample on, um, gosh, I'll be wearing it in one of the videos. 
probably on Wednesday. And I liked it okay, but I didn't like it as much as this. I've been loving the Marc Jacobs, just that remarkable that I've been wearing. And um, so I ended up returning it and I exchanged it for this. I asked her, my mom has been wanting a good Christmas red combo. And so this is what she picked out for me. It's the Rouge L liner. And this, I wanted to get my mom one of these because I love this formula so much. It's the same one I've got on now. And this is a red called um, Rouge Saint Honor. So not sure what that would be the um, high potency six hour wear feather light rouge saint honor and it's 181 in so i wonder if that means it's a um a neutral color but anyway i'll show it to you i won't i don't want to um swatch it just because it's my mom's i haven't given it to her yet but it's one of those really just beautiful red colors and it's going to look so good on her because she has big beautiful lips and she wears glasses so she doesn't wear as much makeup she wears more blush and lips and I think it's gonna look great on her and she has brown hair so I just wanted to just tell you about this in case you were looking for a good Christmas red lip they um two girls were working at Lancome that day and they both were just going crazy over that telling me that they love that color so much and then we tried all of their red lip liners and that went the best with it. I need to hold this out because I want to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take this and give it to my mom so she can be wearing it. Okay. Um, then what else? Did I get anything? I don't think I bought anything else this week as then far as makeup goes. I did get a package from Tarte. They sent me, and when I saw this, I, I kind of thought, oh, I hope they send that to me. But this is the Tartist Contour Palette. And I love it. I've got it on today. And um, you can see I've already used it a bunch since I just got it, I think, day before yesterday. But I love this. And one of the main reasons why is you can see it has everything in it. It has a tan color, which is you can smell the chocolate smell. It's one of their uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzers for contour. And then it has the dark contour. And then I hope you can see how beautiful this blush is here it's what i've got on today and i might even put on a little bit more but it is that beautiful color kind of like the jane iredale that i've been telling you about or like the gucci um soft cameo god it smells so good and um then it has the yellow powder maybe you can see the colors better back here i've got on so many lights over here so it's got the yellow like a banana type powder then it has this, which is a highlight, but it's not really, really, really shimmery. It's the perfect amount of shimmer. And then it has that white color that you can do if you want to do your jawline or, you know, above your mouth or something like that. It just has everything in it. And yesterday, I used this palette alone, even for my eyes, because you have such good colors. You could do these two for your eye colors, and then it's just perfect. So you, this is really, you could do everything with this one palette. And then they included with that this brush, which is awesome. And um, I use this one brush for the whole thing. Oh, hey, Sassy. <laughs> I always hear them coming upstairs because they jump over the baby gate. But um, I'm going to use this brush and put a little bit more blush on. Yeah, I think I needed a little bit more. Like that. Yeah, definitely. And um, so, just love that. Thank you so much, Tarte. Called the Tartist Contour Palette. And this is the, oh goodness, I'm not sure of the brush, but I will put the links to both of these down below because I love them. And one thing that really impresses me with a brush, and I don't find this to be true as much with the Sigma brushes or the MAC brushes. And I'm sure it has something to do with maybe these brushes are synthetic. I'm not sure because it's the same way with Goss's brushes. I love a brush that when you use it and then you put something on, it's almost clean already. Then you can go into another. It doesn't get gunked up with um, color and stuff. So and I really then, like that. Um, another favorite that I actually wanted to show you this last week and I forgot to, so I'm going to include it this week. But I've been using it. You'll notice I've been using it a lot. And typically what I do, I have a whole little container of um, brow brushes and brow products on my clear cube. And unless I'm really 
paying attention to my look that day, a lot of times I will just grab the first thing that I see. And even if it's a brush that I pull out, well, then I'll go ahead and grab my charcoal brown uh, MAC powder or something like that and use it. But this is something that I kind of look for. And it is the Smashbox Brow Tech Gloss Stick. And the color I use is blonde. And I remember looking at the taupe and not liking it. It was too green. But this is, it's a roll up and it's what I have on today and I love it. It is so easy and um, I just do it, I usually do it when I'm waiting for my lashes. I put the glue on my lashes and set them back down and then I do my brows. That way it gives them time to dry a little bit so that they go on better. And these lashes are the ones that I have on my Instagram. They're the ones that I wore the other, a couple pictures ago and I put pictures of these lashes on my Instagram. It's two pair and um, they don't show up maybe quite as much today because I don't have on as much liner as I usually do. So, but they're really pretty. But anyway, going back to this, the reason I like this so much is I love the color. I love how easily it just glides right on. And because it's a gloss stick, now it does come in matte too, but I don't know if I would like the matte as much because this is almost like two products in one. It does the color and it kind of slicks your brows down, almost like a brow wax. And I find that I don't need a brow gel or anything after I use this. I can just take the brush on the other end and brush them back or out and that's it. And it's, I mean, it's not a bold brow, but it's what I like. It's, um, you know, if I want a bolder brow and my hair, when, when I wash it and do it and don't sleep on it, that's. This is how it looks frizzier and I don't know, I like it better then, the next day. But oh, I thought I would show you. I'm saving my best for last because I got something that I am just crazy about and I'm going to show you last. Um, I went to Oliver twice this week. I went one time um, earlier in the week. Oh, I went to get this. They just got these back in. And this is the Michael Lauren Otis. Now the ones I usually wear, you know, have the scoop neck and they are the Alec tees. And by far just one of the best things that you can get because I love the thumb holes. I love that it's fitted. It's um, got a tiny little ribbing. They don't fade. I've had these now for, I guess this is the third year that I'll be wearing them. And um, I've also got on the leggings that I showed you last week. And that's what I like to do. Like today, I brought this out. I'll probably wear this today. It's my um, McGuire Skywalker jacket. But a lot of days I like to get up, especially on the weekends, throw on any pair of jeans and one of these shirts. I have them in, I've been liking the, the round neck. I have the V-neck in the, like a vanilla color and then a bright pink. But I really, I told Kelly, I said, I really like to have one in the black. And she was out of them for a long time. She was waiting for them to ship to her. And, um, but I just put these on and then you can put anything on over it. They look good under vests, under moto jackets. It's just kind of like a, the best base layering piece. And they're so comfortable. Then when I get home, a lot of, not, a lot of times I'll even sleep in them, but just because they're just so comfortable. And then this is another thing I was thinking about this when I put it on today. Another one of my favorites has been this bra that I showed you probably a month and a half or two months ago. It's the Wacol t-shirt bra. And I'll put the link down below. And it's smooth. It doesn't give you like um, torpedo boobs, even though it's got like a little bit of, um, I hate to say padding because it's not really padded, but it's the molded cup, I guess you would say. And what's neat about it is, you know how we always lose weight right here at the top? It has a little bit of extra, um, you know, just extra cushion right there to kind of, it says that it molds to your body and it kind of gives you just a, a better, you know what I mean? So it, that little bit of extra just, I think, adds something. And I've just, it's really comfortable and I've really enjoyed it. I find myself, a lot of times I'll just hang bras on the, one of the doorknobs on my closet and whenever I start looking for something and not just grabbing the first thing I see, that's when I know, you know, that it's one of my favorites. And so I want to tell you about that. And then my mom had asked me about a hat, about getting a hat. And her and my dad do a lot of, um, I've told you before, they do a lot of things outside like 
you know, different shows and stuff. So a lot of times she likes to wear a hat. And, um, but she has tried on mine before and couldn't wear them because I have a big head and she has a smaller head. So she needed a small. So I went to Oliver and bought her this one and it's going to look so good. Yeah, it's a small. And it's one of the Janessa Leone hats that um, Kelly sells. And my mom's got brown hair and I, you know, of course, black is one of the first things you would think of, but my mom really wears more greens, browns, oranges, more earth tones, and so I just think that's going to look so good on her, and I need to take it out of the bag so it won't get, oh goodness, I'll set it over here. I don't want that to get, um, I probably shouldn't have left it in the bag that long, and then I ended up, um, Kelly also showed this one to me, and she said that a lot of people like this one because, here's the brand right there, because it's brown, but with the black, you can wear it with either. And I'll try this on for you. And I wear the medium, and oh, I love it. I would wear it today if it weren't raining. It's raining. I had kind of halfway um, planned on if I didn't like my hair today. Oh, the camera always shows things backwards. But um, <laughs> you have to get it just right. There it goes. So I would wear it like that, and hats are so awesome to have because if you're having a bad hair day, or you don't feel like fixing your hair, or you want to wear a plain Jane outfit and you just want a little bit of style, they're just so easy to throw on. And like I think I wore a hat every day in New York because um, they just keep you so much warmer, and it was just I didn't even have to worry about my hair. I could just throw on the hat, and so I really liked this one. It's kind of a neat color too. See how it's like. Um, I don't know, it's, I've got another one that's like a light camel color that I got last year, but this one is just more brown. I think it'll look really good with black and like even the moto jackets and stuff. Just give me another option. So, and let's see, I'll put that over here. And um, then, um, so that was, oh, I know why I went back. Now, the first day I went um, to pick this up, they accidentally gave me the Otis. With, or the Alec, which is the round neckline. So when I went back to get the this one, the V-neck, I looked over and I saw these. And she only has one pair left in an extra small. And I got the mediums, and it is this really cool pair. She just started carrying the Mink Pink Move line. It's the anti-wicking, don't sweat it, babe. This is... Um, so, so while you're heating up, it's keeping you super cool and dry, but she's carrying their athletic line. And these are the leggings, and they look like that Mara Hoffman print that I love so much, and I had to have them. And they are, they weren't as much as I thought they would be, um, 70. Dream Achievers Legging, I got the medium. And I would wear these with my black you know, Nikes and like this shirt. I wanted to do that today, but since I was going to the school, I figured I would try to calm it down, take it down maybe one notch. And, um, or I would just wear these with um, my fry boots, my black fry boots and a black moto jacket. If, you know, if I wanted to, it just depends on what mood I'm in that day. Or you could wear a big sweatshirt or a big black sweater and boots or big black sweater and your tennis shoes. I mean, and I think it's going to be, I think they're going to be kind of slimming. Usually something that has the black on the edges is makes your legs look slim. So I'll be wearing these probably this weekend. And um, I'll post a picture on my Instagram. But look how pretty the colors are on that. Just beautiful. Okay. And is that, I think I am actually nearing the end. I'm going to show you. Ah, something that I have been just crazy about this week. I ended up ordering a pair of, you know, I love the Fry Parker short boots, the little black ones. I wear those at least two or three times a week. And so I ordered another pair for, I'm not going to say who, but someone in my family for Christmas because I love them and I just thought they would be the best gift. So I ended up ordering these for myself. And these are the Parker, Fry Parker Tall. Not over the knee, because I had, at one point, I had considered those, and I thought, no, it just doesn't get cold enough here, and I don't want to, I felt like that would limit me more. So, 
And this is the reason, you know, I had looked at the Stuart Weitzman. I had looked at all different types, the Vince, all different types of boots. Sassy. No, no, no. <laughs> Sharpening her claws on my furniture. But um, I just, I love the short ones so much. And these are just so basic. See how they've got a good, not too round, not pointy toe, a good basic. I love the heel. It's, I think it's like a four inch heel. And I have worn these, I think, every day since I've gotten them. You can see where they're getting kind of worn in, which makes fry boots look even better. And I put these on the first day, wore them all day like I had had them, like they had been broken in for years. And I got the exact same size. So I'm going to put these on and then do a quick so outfit today. I see everything well, but these are the leggings that I showed you last week that are the getting back to square one. And um, they're thick. They're very, very thick. So if you don't want thick leggings, they're like pants. And they're so pretty. They have the nice seams. And I had said that I could wear the small or the medium. I couldn't. These are the mediums, and they're as tight as I would want them to be. But they have a nice, you know, seam, a good waistband. They come up to here. And then this is the um, Otis T, And you can see it just comes down the perfect length. And um, I love the thumb holes. It just adds a little something. And, um, and like I said, they wash and dry well. I, I wash mine. And then I let it dry probably, you know, um, five minutes or something, just enough to fluff it. And then I just lay it over one of my chairs in the kitchen. And then these are the boots. And I love them. They're the perfect height. I think the perfect circumference. They're, you know, just snug enough. And um, I love them. I just think they're wonderful. I think they'll look good with jeans and everything. And then today, I think I'm just probably going to throw on. It's raining, so I don't want to wear... And it's not that cool, but I want to put something on, so I think I'm going to wear this, which is the um, Meguiar. Um, yeah, I'll probably wear this, but see how this shirt just comes out, and I love how it's kind of tapered up. And um, so this is it for the day, and then I'm still been loving my purse. <laughs> and I want to show you the leggings up close everything okay, and then for accessories i just have on nothing <laughs> i have meant to put these on i wanted to put my i got a little dish that I sometimes you know sometimes you just want to take your earrings off and um so i have them in here and i when i went to put them on downstairs i knew they were up here but today i'm going to wear these the little um sheila Fajal little wings free spirit studs so this is what I'm going to put on today. I'll put these on real quick. And then this is something I got this week that I actually bought probably two to three weeks ago. And I bought it from someone in the UK on eBay. And it is the ring. It's the Solange. Um, I'm not sure what the whole word for it is, but it's the lips ring. I think um, the first person I ever saw wear it was Lisa Eldridge. And I have wanted it ever since. I saw it when we were at Bergdorf's in New York. And I didn't want to spend the money on it. And it was expensive on eBay, but not as much as it would be brand new. And it has, it's supposed to have all the writing and everything in it. But it's even um, when you buy it from the company, it's sterling silver with enamel plating. And this says... I don't know. It's supposed to have all the stuff in it that it's supposed to say. So I'm hoping that it is authentic. And um, that is it. I just think it's really cool. And um, is that it? I don't think I'm going to put on a necklace today. I'm going to try to be a little bit more casual <laughs> with my fringe and everything. But, you know, I can't, can't not be myself. And, um, oh, so glad I thought about this. And I'm sure that is one thing that stresses me out about my videos and stresses me out in in general is please know that if you email me you send me a message on instagram you leave comments you've got to think about all the comments that i get on my video that just went up and then all the comments that i get on all of my videos from the past then um you know i'm getting texts and emails and emails are you know anyway i just some days i just cannot get to it all and I just want you to know, it's, I'm not ignoring you on purpose. It's just I get overwhelmed. And, you know, I have to 
do my family stuff first and then fit this YouTube stuff in there. And a lot of times I just don't, I can't just, I just can't do it all. And so please know that if you have, I know I got some cards this week. Um, and I'm not going to remember everybody that sent me cards, but thank you so much for my Christmas cards. I have them downstairs displayed on my countertop. And um, so anyway, please know that I appreciate all of you, even if I can't tell you right then. But um, this is another thing that I think would be an awesome Christmas gift is this Mophie. I got this, you know, last year and um, I plug it in at night and I've got, it worked on my iPhone 6 and this is the iPhone 6S or whatever, the latest one. And it worked on both of them. So I didn't even have to get a new one. But I plug this thing in before I go to bed at night, which is usually 11, 11.30 or so. And I get up at 5.30 and I unplug it and go throughout the entire day and nine times out of 10, it is still on 100%. It might have drifted down to 97% or something, but I never have to charge my phone in the car or worry about it for the whole day. And I just leave it on. Like I leave it on the green the whole time. I don't wait for my phone to run out and then turn it on. I just leave it on all the time. And um, I think that is an so, awesome gift. So, this isn't gonna be too long. And I'm gonna go take my mom her lip combo. I'll put that in my hand right now so I don't forget it. And um, I think I'm gonna share this biscotti with her too since we have the other one. And I will put all the links down below. Thank you to Tarte and Floor Amazona for those. And um, I don't know much how much I'll be here next week. Like I said, I've got a, um, a vlog I'm gonna post but we'll just see i'll just play it by ear john the reason i'm upstairs today is because john's off he actually has the rest of the year off vacation days and so i wanted him to be able to drink his coffee and walk around the house like he wanted to this morning and um so have a great great weekend um enjoy time with your families and i will see you next week at least sometime <laughs> see you then Bye bye